for recording and reamping guitar, you need your favorite guitar amplifier, like this Black Star, good guitar cabinet, like this Randall 412, some microphone, the best probably sure SM57, bunch of cables, mic stands, and reamping box. Or you have this bag, where inside sits Lenny IRT Studio. The IRT Studio is an amp that squeezes a 15 watt all valve head into smart 2U rack mount chassis. Super busy rear panel features a fully balanced output on XLR with ground lift, plus 4 minus 30 dB level switching and switchable speaker emulation. Next is USB selection, which outputs the fully processed sound on the right channel and a dry sound on the left. The dry channel has its own level control and there is a useful reamp input that connects the USB dry return to the amp input. There is also a foot switch, which allows remote control for channel switching, both boost functions and the reverb. There are three ECC83 in preamp and two EL84s output valves. For recording and reamping, you will need your standard audio interface. We are using PreSonus audio box, XLR cable, and USB cable. This USB cable will connect the amp and the computer. XLR cable will connect the DI output from the amp and line input on your audio interface. Plug in your guitar into your amplifier so we are ready to record. On the software side, first you have to create a song using empty song template. Now you will create two new tracks. One will input from USB left, which is clear. The other one will input from USB right, which is processed signal from the amplifier. Just make sure that routing is correct and you do have two different inputs for channel clean and channel processed. The third channel which we will create will feed the DI output from the amplifier by our PreSonus audio box back to the door. Now we have three channels ready to record. Just hit the record button and start playing. Okay, do the full zoom to have better view of recorded tracks and start listening to them in solo mode. First the clean one. USB processed one. And signal returned via DI output. You can hear that the DI output is slightly lower in volume. Now we have to reroute clean signal which we will be sending back to the amplifier for reamping. So make sure that the output is the USB laning. We'll create another track which as an input we use USB processed from the laney amplifier. Make sure you selected the correct one right channel from the USB. Last channel we will create will input the DEI signal from the amplifier back to the door. Arm the track and we are ready to reamp. Unplug the 
cable from your guitar and plug it into DI output on the back of your amplifier. Tweak the tone, shape it up and start recording. You can change the tone during the recording. Happy reamping.